up everyone how is everyone doing we got Aquarius and Pisces tonight Aquarius and Pisces howdy yourself Hope everyone is doing a okay tonight. <clears throat> Wait just a couple more minutes, a couple few more minutes before we get some more people in. Oh yeah, and just as I was saying that, we have a few show up. Aquarius, nice. Yes, if y'all have Aquarius placements in your chart, this is definitely the right time and right place. I think I may attempt to uh, light a candle. How's everyone doing tonight? We've got any Aquariuses, other than the few that have uh, mentioned? How's everyone doing tonight? Aquarius, yes. It's usually about five or six minutes in that we start getting people uh, come into the live stream. Aquarius chilling, nice, okay. Okay. Uh-oh, is that Jules I see? What's up, Jules? There we go, now we got about 20, 21 people. How you doing? Oh, I'm hanging in there. About to do an Aquarius and Pisces reading. Aquarius is up first, obviously. All right, Aquarius. So I'm going to keep this at a 30-minute minimum reading. It said, hello, I am a Leo. Got dumped by Aries. Any thoughts? Got dumped by an Aries? Um... I don't know. I feel like um, you should check out the Leo video, though, that I uploaded around last Wednesday <clears throat> uh, on my YouTube channel, by the way. Uh, with that being said, yes, Aquarius, we are going to get an overall theme and or a topic for you, and then we will get five cards from the tarot. And then we'll close the reading out with another oracle card, all within 30 minutes. I'm going to attempt to get my bearings going in the next couple weeks and get back to how I was doing things in the beginning. So thank you all for being patient with me. With that being said, what do we have for Aquarius? Whoop we have for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and or Rising, maybe even Venus. Overall theme and or topic. All right, three more. A one, a two, 
a three. Hello, my friend. Pisces yet? Nope, not yet. Yeah, I'll be right after Aquarius. Top card here is the one we need for the overall theme and or topic. Ooh. Blinded by bias. Oh, goodness. Are y'all Aquariuses ready for uh, some truth bombs here? <coughs> Blinded by bias. So automatically, uh, for the intuitive message, I'm picking up that some of y'all might feel like you know something about a specific certain person, like their intentions towards you, their emotions, what they're thinking, when in all actuality, it might be your own projection of what you're feeling or thinking or how you're viewing the situation. Um, needing more information before you judge a person unfairly. I said, all hell, bring it on, right? Oh, what the heck? I done passed it. There we go. Blinded by bias. And technically, there's a lot to read here, so strap in, y'all. <clears throat> bias is defined as the prejudice that has a person favoring a belief, an ideology, person, or a group over another, often unfairly and without an informed reason. While some preference, like for strawberry over chocolate, are innocent, bias is the foundation of all aggression, oppression, inequality, stereotyping, and social injustice. We can be good people at our core, but become less wise, less accepting, and empathic because of our biases. Our biases influence our thoughts and emotions, our day-to-day -day lives, our interactions with others, our decision-making process, our ability to be objective, impartial, and have an open mind. Even our ability to receive advice and help can be unduly affected. <clears throat> There's very little that's not influenced by our personal and often unconscious bi uh, biases, yes. How do you address your bias? The first step is to accept that you have them. The second step is to learn to familiarize yourself with different kinds of biases and determine if they are present in your daily interactions. For example, if you are a woman, who wants gender equality, do you react to women being objectified by then objectify men? Bias often expresses as an assumption, for example, believing that a person with a mental illness is more likely to harm another person than someone without one. It can be seen in the belief that a person with a disability also needs to be helped or wants to be fixed when many are at peace with their situation and capable of doing everything others can do, possibly more. By exploring your personal biases and reducing their influence, you can then identify and help eliminate bias and its effects in the broader community. Wow, that's a deep one, y'all. That's a deep one. I feel like... I feel like bias could definitely be a programming as well. I, and I say programming because, or condition, let's say, uh, a conditioning. It could be based off of our environments that we want to fit in with a certain crowd or, you know, look a certain way to our friends or our family members in order to be accepted by them. Um... I mean, I can't imagine any other reason, but we're going to see how this applies to your reading there, Aquarius, for the next week ahead, Saturday to Saturday. And yes, I, I agree, that is definitely an ouch kind of topic. 
It almost makes me wonder if uh, someone is being biased towards you. And I mean, if that's the more popular agreement, <clears throat> then, then I don't know. Either you could be projecting your views, opinions, your own bias of someone onto them, or someone else could be doing that towards you. We're going to have to see if it makes sense one or either way. If y'all are new here, definitely hit that follow button. It is greatly appreciated. Greatly and muchly so appreciated. Alrighty. Whoops. I'm not taking cards that fall out of the deck. Alright, Aquarius. Three more. A one. A two. A three. All right, five tarot cards. And then one oracle to end out the reading. All right, Aquarius, here is your situation. Here is your challenge. Here is your person of interest. Here is the similarities or common ground between you both. And here is the possible outcome and or advice. All right, um, Aquarius, <clears throat> this is your reading. May I remind y'all? Um, and doubling up on the ouch part, can I do Taurus next? I actually do two zodiac signs a night. Tonight's signs just so happen to be Aquarius and Pisces. And then this coming Monday will be Aries and Taurus. Well, hello yourself, Jess Marie. Uh, thank you all for all the love and support. Thank you for being patient with me as yes, I only do two signs a night. I try to be fair in that sense, but definitely uh, hit the follow button and you'll be able to view Monday night's reading. And if not, if for any reason you have to like work or have other plans and can't make it to the live stream Monday or any other day in the week, definitely check out my YouTube channel, Free Will Tarot, same title, same logo, which I post every video, every live stream here onto my YouTube channel, yes. That way you don't have to miss out on future live streams, alrighty? or the information within those live streams. With that being said, uh, one quick reminder, blinded by bias, it could be Aquarius, that you're viewing a specific person as having bad intentions, or you view them as playing favorites with you, or they're picking on you, or trying to get away with something, or they have bad intentions for whatever reason. I do feel like this could be a bias though. Uh, as in, maybe you're only trying to look a certain type of way in front of other individuals, family members, coworkers, friends. Um, now, while yes, I am technically half-ass calling you out, it won't be every week that I call you out. Blinded by bias speaks of, yes, maybe you are being biased towards a specific person. Um, and if I got that for any other sign, I would call them out as well. So I only feel like fair is fair. With that being said, two of wands, I do feel like you're at a crossroad. Uh, wondering if you should give this person another chance. If you're possibly looking at how you was biased, how maybe you possibly was, to a certain degree, wrong about them. Oh, they just have bad intentions towards me. They just want to see me squirm. They want a power dynamic. They want to have the power in this relationship. They want to make me look bad. And it could possibly have been that no, that was 
possibly your projection of how you were viewing them, of how you possibly wanted them to look bad, or maybe you was feeling guilty and was in fear and shame, didn't want them to find out that you was wrong, didn't want to feel weak, let's say. And it's not necessarily the case that we are weak. I'm not even sure if this person views you as weak, if you made a mistake or, you know, if you were wrong to some degree for treating them a certain way. It's like, two of wands, do I go right where nothing's left? Do I go left where nothing's right? You're wanting to plan for the future and with or without this person, I'm not sure. But you're at a crossroad. Could this person have tried to call you out for being biased towards them in the last week or currently? And now you're like, okay, what do I do? Do I fess up and say, yes, I was wrong? And then we continue on in this relationship because there definitely could be still some love here. Or do I... As the Aquarius, I'm not the Aquarius, but I'm speaking for the Aquarius. Do I, the Aquarius, move into calmer waters and just invest in myself trying to take accountability for my wrongdoings? Not necessarily apologizing to this person, not necessarily taking accountability, but trying to apply the lesson moving forward and learn from our mistakes, right? Because I do feel uh, Aquariuses can and do most of the time learn from their mistakes. With the Six of Wands and the challenge, I feel like it's a challenge to have success with this person for whatever reason. Sure, there might be some biases. Um, there's a lack of success. There's a lack of public recognition. There's a, pu a, a lack of uh, getting the credit where it's due or um, it could be that either of you felt like your ego was being stroked and now now that this person isn't in your life anymore or they walked away you walked away there's technically that lack of boosting of the ego um now it in any other placement in this spread i would have said that wow y'all could definitely be a power couple but if one person or the other has more power then it's going to be a little unbalanced right it's got to be equal give and take and speaking of balance we have the justice card and this person's energy i don't know who you're dealing with but i technically like this person y'all i feel like they were trying to do the right thing by you they were trying to bring things fairly to the relationship, they were trying to speak their truth, they were trying to just do the right thing. And you could be looking at this person like, yeah, they could be wanting to do the right thing, says the Aquarius, but I might not have seen them as such in the first place. I could have been blinded by a bias says the Aquarius. Is it necessarily the Aquarius' job to tell this person, hey, I fucked up, I screwed up, I messed up, can I clean up my mess? No, it's not necessarily your job to do so. I mean, if you care about this person, maybe take a little bit of accountability, maybe. You know, if you feel like you see a future and can plan a future with this person, then sure. But if you don't see success with this person either way, even if you did apologize and then bring some sort of uh, changed behavior, um, Ace of Swords tells me that there could be, yes, a form of communication, a new form of communication, a new approach possibly between you and this person. Um, Ace of Swords, this could be a Eureka moment, a new idea, um, an aha moment. Or it literally could be just you and this person bringing clarity to the table. Hey, I screwed up. I'm at a crossroad over here, says the Aquarius, and I need to speak to you uh, with truth, with fairness. 
I don't want to plan this future without you. I can only see my future with you. Can we move things forward so we can have that success, that victory? And this person, I feel like they're possibly wanting to do the right thing as well. They're wanting something balanced. They're wanting something fair. They're wanting to be truthful. They're wanting success here. They want a new approach, I'm sure. Uh, but maybe for some of you, they're just keeping to themselves. The difference between, and I know this is kind of getting off topic, but the Justice card and the Temperance card are very similar. The Temperance card deals with emotions, and the Justice card right here tends to go with more like what is right, what is uh, logical, and what is right, what is logically right, let's put it that way. And maybe you was uh, looking at this person through a lens of emotions, when you technically probably should have been looking through a lens of logic and or what is the right thing to do. So therefore, the hanged man, it could be the possible outcome by the end of the next week that you look at this person and try to see them from a different perspective. It could be with the hanged man, if this is the advice, then yes, try to uh, walk a mile in this person's shoes. Walk a mile in this person's shoes. We're going to get one closing oracle card to end out this reading. If any of y'all are new and or are just now joining me in this reading, give me three yeses and I will give a recap. I repeat, if you would like a recap, give me three yeses. Not by the same person, by the way, but from three different people. Shall I do a recap? What up, Sherry? No recaps? Yes, recap. LOL, well dang. Yes, please. Yes, please. Not by the same person. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Not by the same person, y'all. Okay, we will recap. Jules said yes, please. Okay, okay. Blinded by bias tells me that maybe the uh, Aquarius in the last week or in the next week ahead is seeing this person through a, uh, a pair of glasses, not necessarily rose-colored glasses, but I, I feel the opposite, whatever the opposite would be, uh, glasses of bias, uh, meaning that you could favor a group of people, and in regards to another person, maybe you're wanting to make this person feel lesser than or wanting them to look bad in front of a group of people that whom you are close to or family members, coworkers maybe. It could be that you're uh, not really giving this person a fair chance, a fair fighting chance in this relationship. Not having all the information on this person, possibly even projecting your own views, your own opinions onto them. And keep in mind when we are biased towards a person or a situation, it's normally, I feel in my opinion, maybe not every single time, but a lot of the times it's so we look a certain way, so we can fit in to a certain social group or look cool, if you will, or uh, swell, right? 50 slang there, but no matter the case, two of wands, we did start the reading off. You're wanting to look at this person and either apologize, bring the truth, tell them, hey, yeah, I'm wrong. What can you do? You know, I'm sorry. I messed up. What are you going to do? I, the Aquarius, make mistakes. I'm willing to learn from it if this person can, uh, you know, not apologize, uh, accept the apology, and then we can move forward. If this person is accepting change behavior, I don't feel like that's a problem for the Aquarius, you know? As long as there can be changed 
or not changed, as long as there can be plans made for the future and we can move forward and view each other in a more respectful light, then yes, we can move forward and plan for that future. But with the Six of Wands and the challenge, it feels like it's challenging and or difficult to gain success and or recognition for a job well done in this connection. It's like, well, have you put in the effort? Have you put in the time, the money, the energy that's necessary for you and this person to get this off the ground? If not, then it would make sense why the Six of Wands is in the challenge. You know, it's not getting off the ground. What's going on here? We don't have that public, you know, recognition like, oh, look at that power couple over there. That Aquarius and their person, they sure as heck have done something right there right and this person they want justice they either want justice and or are advocating for justice i don't know if you like to see this person squirm or like to uh, make them feel little based off of your own insecurities aquarius but i mean this person is advocating they're wanting to speak the truth they're wanting things fair and you're just over here like Okay, do I stick with them? Because you, yourself, could be a humanitarian. Just as the books, just as the internet says that most Aquariuses are humanitarians. They love animals, uh, mostly over humans, but still are uh, community-oriented and advocate for the right thing. But then, faced with someone that is uh, that side of the Aquarius, it's like, oh, they're kind of like me. So then why do I feel insecure about this relationship? Why am I not getting this relationship off the ground? Justice card, yes, they just want to do the right thing. They want to speak their truth. They want things to be fair and balanced. There could be intentions in the next week for you both to communicate, speak to each other, bring clarity about how you feel, what you're thinking, how you're seeing and or viewing this situation with each other. There definitely could be a new approach, success, victory with that uh, Ace of Swords or the potential for it. Aces in the tarot deck are potential new opportunities, let's put it that way, or in this case a new idea with the ace of swords um the hanged man being the possible outcome and or advice if it's the possible outcome i do feel like you'll end up trying to be enlightened about how this person is taking the situation of how you are being biased towards them i feel like you might even walk a mile in this person's shoes and if not if it's the advice here with the hangman, then yes, definitely walk a mile in this person's shoes and try to see something from their perspective instead of uh, being in your own biased mentality. With that being said, with that recap, we are going to get one card to end out this reading. If y'all are new here, definitely hit the follow button. If you have hit the follow button already, and you've been following me since I w started live streaming around last August uh, 13th, then thank you all so much for all the love and support this last past year. it's It's been a wild ride, and I can't wait to see what happens in the next year. That being said, three more for Aquarius. A one, a two, a three. Cut this puppy. First card on top is the one we need to close this reading with. Ooh, trust in divine detours. Trust in divine detours. I feel like, I feel like maybe there's a fear on your part. Maybe there's a fear on your part that if you don't do the right thing, towards this person that you might get karma 
Uh, I wouldn't put yourself in a fear mindset, first off and uh, foremost. With the Hangman being the last card, uh, the last tarot card, anyways, I feel like there's technically something you would have to sacrifice in order to be with this person. With that being said, if you have to sacrifice something of your own in order to be with this person and it just feels like things would be stagnant with this person, maybe there's a detour telling you, hey, this isn't your person. You know, just because this person is a humanitarian and that is reflected back at you, the humanitarian and yourself, doesn't mean that you both will necessarily get along. You know, yes, that could be a mutual interest for sure. But I do feel with the Coyote Spirit Trust in Divine Detours that you were supposed to learn a lesson from this person and then apply that lesson moving forward with the next person, technically. We're going to read from the guidebook, number 16, Coyote Spirits. Get a deeper understanding of why it's the last card in the reading. Trust in Divine Detours. Do you find that you are being led on a strange detour in your life right now? Does it seem that what appears to be the next right action and the right choice best situation or fabulous relationship unexpectedly turns into the opposite or just disappears into thin air as if you've been tricked. Coyote Spirits trickster energy is designed to bring you into situations to teach you lessons. What did I just say? To teach you lessons you have forgotten to learn. Perhaps you need a taste of failure before you experience success a need to feel disappointment before you can truly appreciate the joy, love, and prosperity that is coming up for you. Perhaps you are revisiting a pattern you forgot wasn't in alignment with the life you are intending to co-create, being reminded that gratitude, not complacency, which is technically that hanged man, complacency, will keep you awake and aware of all that is available to you in this moment. Coyote Spirit reminds you to laugh about the unexpected twists, to develop humility and gratitude while releasing your attachments to the form of your desires. Even when you suddenly find yourself on a detour, wondering when you will get back on track to manifesting what you desire, remember that Spirit has a plan and wants the best for you. Trust in divine order now. Coyote Spirit is a divine helper. No matter what seems to go astray, things are exactly as they are supposed to be. All right, y'all. This was, yes, supposed to happen for a reason. There's a lesson here that was supposed to be learned and then applied. It could be that while you yourself are trying to be a humanitarian, are trying to, um, you know, advocate for the underdog or the little person, the quiet person that doesn't stick up for themselves, uh, to stand up against bullies, could it be Aquarius that all this time you've had a bias towards a certain individual or a certain type of individual? And you could be looking at this person as the bad guy getting out of this relationship with them when technically they advocate uh, towards or against, I, I, I should say against the same thing that you are advocating against, right? But just because you can't be on the same team doesn't mean you're both on the same side. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. There, yes, is a lesson to learn here. <clears throat> to take a look at your biases and then realize that, hey, it's okay to not be friends with this person. It's okay to not be in a relationship with this person. They could be the same as you, but that doesn't mean you have to be in a relationship with them. You know, they were here to teach you a lesson and you possibly taught them a lesson as well. With that being said, I hope that helped. I hope it was insightful to some degree. And I hope to see y'all 
in the next Aquarius Collective reading next Saturday. All right, one more time before I end the live stream. Do hit that follow button, the like button, the share button. And one more time, thank you all for all the love and support. I will see you all next weekend for another Aquarius Collective reading. This was enlightening, truly. Hey, I, I try to keep them enlightening, but it, they the cards don't always get pulled in such a way where the stories, you know, are enlightening and or entertaining and or like, whoa, I never thought of it that way. But I, I do love it when the cards come out in such a way. With that being said, much love. Take care, y'all, and enjoy your uh, the rest of your weekend.